Hello. My name is Teddy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael DeCruz. Nice <laughs> to meet you, Clint. Nice to meet you, and uh, nice to have you in Dublin very soon. You've been doing this thing for eight months. What are you expecting in Ireland? In Ireland, I just want to have a really good time, and then also going to see where my grandfather is from. So I keep. <laughs> where going. is he from? He's from Gra- uh, Glan- Granard, which is in County Longford. Oh, wow, that's going to be a bit of a trip now from it's Dublin. An hour and a half. Yeah. So you know, I'm going to do He's it. Gonna I've got to go and do it. Go and see what the, where the Flynns come from. Okay. Um, and also, I've just heard it's an amazing place, and I can't believe after. Th- I'm nearly 60. I've never been to Ireland. My grandfather would be ashamed. At least you're finally doing it. Doing it. And you've got a job, too. You know. I've got a job to do, so it's a really lovely way to go there and uh, have, have some fun. And I'm sure the Irish, I've just heard so much about having okay. some really good fun. So. Are you whiskey or Guinness? Let's go Guinness. I'm neither, but let's go Guinness. Neither. Wow. Can't bear the stuff. I'm really we sorry. To try one of them. Well, I mean, yeah. I'll definitely give both a go. I mean, maybe I'll be a Guinness convert by yeah. the time we're done. I've been I told there's a certain county that one has to drink Guinness from, but I'm not going to say anything. No, but you, there's arguments about where the guess best is. Because it's all about the water, apparently. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm a whiskey man myself. Anyway, let's talk about the show now. Uh, tell us about your character and uh, why it's important to Willy Wonka. Uh, so I play Mike TV. Why is Mike TV important to Willy Wonka? Um, I mean, in the in the golden ticket holders, yeah. is he a, 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 a nice one? No. <laughs> He's horrible, and I make sure that he is very horrible. Um, I think each individual golden ticket winner is like a moral story. I think that is their that is their purpose, and that is why they exist. Because obviously, the <laughs> the more horrible they are, the better Charlie looks. Because Charlie is so angelic, and the worse we are, the better he looks. And I think um, it is the whole story is kind of like a moral moral story, which is, is super lovely. And being nasty is that fun? Yes. Or does that come naturally? No. <laughs> um, no, it's so much fun. No repercussions of being horrible. <laughs> Get paid for it. <laughs> um, an iconic show, uh, a story that everyone's read or seen in a film or whatever. Daunting to do that. I mean, you're the grandpa as well. I mean, everyone knows grandpa. I mean, is that... Is it a tough act to follow when you know the kids have seen the film and the, their parents have read the books and all that sort of stuff? No, it's, absolutely, it's a really joyous role. And so I didn't think about any of the, anything I'd seen before. We, it was a brand new production in, in uh, Leeds, from Leeds Playhouse. We do it with a northern accent, so there's changes in that. Um, I'm half Indian, half Irish. Uh, so instead of being <laughs> stuffed into a white role, they adapted and they didn't change the script but they changed how I look. Mm. And so it's very subtle, but it, it does, is representative of my Indian side. And, uh, you know, and instead of coming back as a soldier, he comes back as a bus conductor, which is actually my dad's first job when he came over from India. So they that changed that to, 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 for, for my uh, for me to play the role. Well, that means you can never leave the show now as well. That's it. I'm in. You're going to die it. in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Teddy. <laughs> you're going to say this show's going to kill me. Is that what you're saying? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Grandpa, though, is Willy Wonka still as relevant to young people these days? I think so, because I think, again, Willy Wonka is the leader of the morals. Like, he... I know I use the word morals a lot, but, like, I think the the children are the physical representations, and Willy Wonka is the person who challenges them. And I think it's very clear that throughout the story, he always tells them not to do it. He always gives them the choice of going, you can either do this but I'm telling you not to do this, and they still do it anyway. But yeah, Willy Wonka is so important. He's iconic, and and every portrayal of Willy Wonka is iconic. And you being in the show, is that a, you you might be a bit of a role model to young people as well, being in this show, and being in musical theatre in general? Like, do you feel the little weight on your shoulders? Um, do I feel weight on the shoulders? I mean, 
it's about being, I guess, about being the next generation of musical theatre. I guess setting a good example and not being horrible, like my character, is always a good start. But yeah, I don't know, it's just interesting to see where musical theatre is going and this production is so fresh and so new and so diverse and rich. I, I'm thrilled to be a part of it, really. Yeah. And technically, I mean, there's LED screens and, I mean, I know it comes alive. and <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on, costumes and stuff like that. Tiring? Um, Tiring. God, I, the, I'm on stage right at the very beginning, and I leave ten minutes before the end, and then I come back on for the finale. It's exhausting, and I've got a big song and dance at the end of Act One. Because <laughs> it's got the easy job. It comes on at like, ten, like, ten minutes before the end of Act One. Come on, sitting in this <laughs> dressing room for forty minutes, easy, easy job. So yeah, it is physically difficult. I, you know, and after my big, I've got a big song and dance, and after that, I am an absolute wreck, hot wet mess and then I have to do a costume change and then come back on as if nothing has happened <laughs> so it, that, that's that's difficult but working with the screens I mean I've done lots of TV and film and so it wasn't difficult for me because I've done green screen I've done imagining monsters and sand pouring through when I was doing the mummy you know all this sort of stuff so that's just part of imagining, you know, and so when it turns up and you'll, you'll see the set and you see all the screens and how it all works, that's when it all starts being filled in. But you, you've created some of that in your head already. What's your favourite bit of the show, Lars? What's my favourite bit of the show? So in or see? Um, I, I mean, Candyman. I'm not in Candyman, which is right at the end. I think that's a lovely moment where everyone comes together. Um, my favourite bit of the show is, without giving away too much, uh, Leonie Spilsbury, who plays Mrs. TV and Mrs. Bucket, has a lovely puppeteering moment, which I won't say any more about, but it is absolutely my favourite part of the show, because she's absolutely brilliant. Guys, I'm looking forward to seeing it, and looking forward to um, having a whiskey or a Guinness with you in Dublin. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Yeah, I we're promise gonna give you. It a go. I will try one. I will try. <laughs> <laughs>